why do you want aroma C? You're adding that to enhance the orthosport and it has other essential oils that help with inflammation. But there's plenty of blends that do help. For example, sclerescence, if you are, already have it or you're taking it for another reason, like a lot of my women are using it for menopause support. So if you already are using sclerescence anyway, you can add that to your ortho sport. Or if you're using cool zool anyway for pain and you like it, you could always enhance your ortho sport with that. Then sulfurzyme. So it has MSM, which is a very long word. Let me see if I can find the very long word. I can. Methyl sulfonyl methane is MSM. So if you ever see something like osteobiflex at the store, it's got glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate and MSM. That's the MSM part. But this is a supplement that has MSM and Ningxia wolfberry. Let me shrink this. Oh, yeah. So it's very anti inflammatory. And it's been studied for, you know, as an analgesic, it's been studied for bone health and different bone conditions. It also helps with cartilage. So you don't want the healthiest bones in the whole wide world and then to have the cartilage between the bones disappear. And when we age, it does get smaller and smaller. It doesn't have the hormones or the nutrition or the circulation to feed it. And so it will decline. And then people start getting, that's when you hear bone on bone and surgery and things like that. So you want to maintain the health of your cartilage so that you can continue to be comfortable. Like the best bones in the world, if they don't have ligaments or cartilage to hold them together, you will have issues. And if you have the best bone and you know cartilage and ligament in the world and your bones crack easily, that's not a good situation. So you every time you do something that addresses this, you want to have both. So some people say, I'm on calcium. Is that enough? Well, calcium is great for your bones, but not necessarily has it been studied to preserve your cartilage and ligaments. So again, you don't want just the best bones in the world without thinking about what holds them together. So that's MSM. I just wanted to give you a little extra on that so you know why you're getting 300 capsules of Sulfurzyme, which has MSM and then wolfberry, which is a goji berry, it's fruit. So it's a super fruit and then they add them together. Later, I will get into a slide where polyphenols are also good for this. So BLM is bone ligament muscle. These are some other capsules which have collagen in them and glucosamine and manganese and essential oils. And so this is good for the whole system. And on the bottle, there are instructions on how to take them. And the instructions are based on weight. So the more you weigh, the more capsules you take. You want to split the doses and not take 10 capsules once a day. Your body doesn't have the capacity to absorb all of these nutrients at once. So you would at least want to split it to twice a day. So if you're, you know, taking one capsule four times a day. Some people are busy and don't remember to do things four times a day. Then you could take two twice a day, but try not to take all of them at once. You might not absorb as much as you think. And if you weigh over 200 pounds, there's more. Here's the instruction. An advanced protocol for somebody who, like, the first two are for people with healthy bones and who are just trying to keep up but maybe you have other bone conditions and you need more. So there's protocols for taking more than what it says on the bottle, but the bottle does have instructions based on weight. And they also have it in powder form. They have instructions based on weight in the powder form. But of course, some people take more if they have special needs with their ligaments or bones or you've had a procedure or something like that and you have some different healing requirements, you might take an increased amount. Orthosport is a blend of different vegetable oils, wheat germ oils, coconut oil, things like that. 
um, with some essential oils that help with inflammation. So it's good for like a soothing massage, but also those oils help these other oils penetrate. And a lot of different essential oils have been studied for bone health and things like that. I posted a study in a minute. Okay, so polyphenols. So that's what's in the Ningxia red. Why are you getting so much Ningxia red? Because they have done a lot of different studies on polyphenols, which are in fruits and green teas. And anytime you see like purple and red, like why are purple and red fruits and vegetables good for you? They have polyphenols. So here's a study they did on in humans. They what they what their effect is on bone metabolism, um, dietary fruits and their relationship to arthritis. That's another study. And Lyceum barbarum, which is the Ningxia wolf berry. That's the scientific name for that particular type of berry on rat chondrocytes. Chondrocytes are the cells that help you make cartilage. So we know that that particular berry has been studied on that particular type of cell. And if you're trying to preserve your bone and preserve your cartilage, you want to feed it polyphenols. So one ounce of Ningxia red is like, some people will say, well, I, have to, I eat lots of blueberries. I eat tons of you know, fruits and vegetables, is that enough? Well, if you eat 814 blueberries a day, so in the protocol, some of my protocols, I might have you drinking one ounce of Ningxia red a day, maybe two, maybe four. So if one ounce has 814 blueberries and I want you to have four ounces of Ningxia red, that means you're gonna have 3,200 blueberries a day. Now, so you, you know, the juice is definitely going to do different things for bone health. Even if you just did one ounce a day, that's, that's a lot of stuff that you probably don't eat. Nobody eats 93 apples a day or 130 tomatoes. I don't know if I eat 130 tomatoes a year. So essential oils and inflammation. So why are you taking the orthosport and then adding a whole bottle of essential oils to that well, without orally taking anti-inflammatory drugs, you can. They sell them over the counter, we prescribe them, but they also have a consequence to your GI tract when you're taking a lot of anti-inflammatory pills. And using Orthosport or any sort of anti-inflammatory essential oils topically helps you be more comfortable and be able to move more without taking something that your colon and intestines and stomach has to process and deal with. So last but not least, hormones. So most people, when they come to me, they're being prescribed hormones. So, and I, and I always address hormones. When you're young, we know young people who break a bone or heal quicker. Young people usually don't have a lot of bone loss. As we get older, we lose bone. Part of it is nutrition. Part of it is our hormones aren't there encouraging the formation of bone. We are losing bone as we age. So I use hormones to try to alter the rate of bone loss. So some of the capsules that Young Living has they have endogize that has DHEA. Cordostop has DHEA and pregnenolone. Prenolone Plus is topical with DHEA and pregnenolone. So if you'll notice that most of this bone protocol, the Ningxia red is liquid. BLM can be in a powder, so you don't have to take a lot of pills. Sulfurzyme is available as a powder. You don't have to take a lot of pills. This DHEA hormone that I want you to take, that's a cream. So you could literally go through this entire bone protocol and not need to take a pill. But most, some of these things are available in both forms. So here, a study, DHEA, bone mineral density and bone mineral content. Well, it's in a rat, but that's what we've got. And then another one, DHEA and experimentally induced osteoarthritis. So, you know, 
bone inflammation and bone formation. So DHEA has a relationship to those things. So that is your bone. You need hormones. They need nutrition. They need for the muscles and joint space to help them be healthy. Thank you.